The change in our fortunes will only happen when our economy improves. Since I became president, I've been advocating for a Ghana, indeed in Africa beyond aid, and I'm keen to have the support of all of us in this enterprise. Nobody needs to spell it out to us that the economic transformation we desire will not come through aid. We've been on that trajectory for most of the past 61 years, and it has not happened. We are told there is aid fatigue. The taxpayers of the aid givers have a right to decide how their taxpayer, their tax money is spent. The truth is that even if there were no aid fatigue and with the best will in the world and the most charitable governments in place in the so-called donor countries, there will be never enough aid to develop Ghana to the level we want. Aid was never meant to be what would bring us to the status of a developed nation. I do not, by advocating a status beyond aid, want to inflict poverty on us or thumb our noses against those who have helped us and continue to do it. There's nothing to be gained in celebrating an ideological victory in poverty. There's no pride or dignity in poverty. There's no dignity in having hungry children or mothers dying needlessly in childbirth. And there's no dignity in drinking dirty water. We need no lessons in that. My fellow Ghanaians.